Hi guys. I miss you. Welcome to June. Okay, so we have one more chapter book that we get to read for the last few weeks. I've also got some really fun read aloud books that I want to kind of add in so that I can share them with you. Uh, I wanted to give an update on our Mrs. Have a Purple Hair Challenge. We are at 740 books. That means we only have 60 left to go. I think we might be able to get there. Uh, shout out to Claire and Chase who read over an hour each this last week alone. So that helped a bunch. Thanks, kiddos. So remember, if you're doing that 20 minutes of... Uh, just your own personal reading. Epic is a great one to go on and do that reading with. Or if you just have some extra time and your family's like, just do something. Anything that's educational. Go on to Epic. Do some reading. Reading's great. Okay. So we're going to jump in and get started. Uh, I, I think if you didn't read the email carefully... I will just talk about really quickly, there's also a challenge from Mr. Herring, our principal, about shaving his head. And there are a couple other teachers in our building that are also thinking of joining in the fun. We're really trying to convince Mr. Hildebrand to do it too, for sure. So we might have a couple of staff members shaving their heads. And his challenge was engagement. That means the number of kids that are actually turning things in. So this week, there is a certain number of students that I'm looking to turn things in. It's about 70 to 75% of our class. And I told Mr. Herring that that was an easy goal for us because actually we're really close to it anyways during the week. A lot of you have been doing the work and I am so proud of you for taking that time to really work your brain. It's awesome. So we have four, four. fun activities about... Um, mass and volume this week. <laughs> so I'm going to challenge that you go on and you complete them and you share them with me so we can count them so I can tell Mr. Herring, yep, we did it. Shave your head. So anyways, to our story, we are going to be reading Amber Brown is not a crayon. This is by Paula Danziger. And I like this one a lot. Chapter one. In just 10 minutes, our entire class is getting on a plane for our flight to China. I, Amber Brown, am one very excited third grader. I like it because it's in third grade. My best friend, Justin Daniels, is going to sit next to me. Right now, he's sitting at the desk next to me, pretending to be an alarm clock. All I hear now is a quiet tick tock, tick tock, but I'm absolutely positively sure that he has something else planned. We always sit together when our class flies to some faraway place. In fact, we've been sitting together since we first met in preschool. But that's another story. Finding my passport and tickets is not easy because I, Amber Brown, am one very messy third grader. I think a few of you, after cleaning out your desks and putting your things in bags, might feel like you're like Amber Brown. I quickly pull things out of my desk. The book I'm going to use for my report, half a roll of strawberry licorice, my sticker book, two headbands, seven rubber bands, 11 paper clips, two workbooks, and finally my passport and tickets, which I put in a specially decorated case. I used a lot of my stickers on it. At least she can find her things. Organized. Busy, messy, but organized. Why not? Bzz, squawk. Justin starts rocking back and forth. I hit him on the head with my passport and tickets. Okay, what are you doing this time? I'm a cuckoo bird alarm clock and my tail feathers are caught. Justin bobs back and forth. Having Justin Daniels as my best friend sure makes life more fun. So does having Mr. Cohen as my teacher. Get ready to board. Mr. Cohen flicks the lights off and on to signal the end of one activity in the beginning of another. All of the chairs in the classroom are lined up so that it looks like a real plane. With aisles to walk down and places for the pilot, co -plot pilot and flight attendants. Mr. Cohen is always the pilot. He says that's because he's the only one in the room with the driver's license, but I know the real reason. He's always the pilot. It's because he wants to make sure that we get to go where we're supposed to go. Once he let Roger Hart be the pilot, but when we got there, Roger announced that he had taken us to Disneyland instead of Zare. So now Mr. Cohen is the pilot all the time, and he picks different kids to be co-pilots and flight attendants. When my turn comes, I want to be co-pilot. I don't want to have to pass out the little packets of peanuts because some of the boys act so immature, making monkey sounds and stuff. Not Justin, though. He and I spend the time reading the Room 3B in-flight magazine. Everyone gets to write articles for it. 
I really like this plan, and I think this would be fun to do in class. Hmm. We also do the crossword puzzle that Mr. Cohen makes up. Well, actually, to be honest, sometimes Justin makes monkey sounds, too. The class lines up, waiting for our passports to be checked by Mr. Cohen. Hannah Burton looks at the photo on her passport. I hate this picture of me. I don't know why we couldn't just bring one from home. Every time we start studying a new country, we fly there. And every time we do, Hannah complains about the picture on her passport. You look perfectly good, I tell her, looking at her school picture. We all use our school pictures, except for Brandy Colwyn, who came to school after the pictures were taken. Her passport has a picture that Mr. Cohen took with his instant camera. Hannah just shakes her head. I am perfectly good. I just look really terrible in my picture. I choose to ignore Hannah's correction. You know that Mr. Cohen wants our make-believe passports to look like the real thing. Remember when he showed us his real passport? It looked awful. And he doesn't really look that bad. Hannah makes a face and grins. Amber, just because you forgot which day the pictures were going to be taken and your picture looks like you jumped out of bed, threw on any old clothes, and combed your hair with a rake doesn't mean that the rest of us don't care about how we look in our photos. I look at Hannah's picture. Her long blonde hair is perfectly combed with a really pretty multicolored ribbon barrette. I look at my picture. Brown eyes, freckled nose. My brown, slightly messy hair is held back with two bagel-shaped barrettes. I'm wearing normal, non-picture-taking day clothes. In fact, I'm wearing my favorite things. A very long t-shirt that my Aunt Pamela brought back from a trip to London and a pair of black stirrup pants. Even though it doesn't show, I remember which pants I was wearing. I, Amber Brown, have a very good memory. I don't look so bad, and anyway, I forgot that the pictures were being taken that day. Even though Mr. Cohen told us a million times, even though he had it written two million reminders on the blackboard. So I'm a little forgetful. And Hannah Burton isn't always totally right. I don't comb my hair with a rake. Maybe my fingers sometimes, but never a rake. I like your picture, Justin grins at me. It looks exactly like you. Not just the way you look, but the way you act. You mean messy. Hannah laughs. I want to pull off the stupid little bow that she's wearing on her head. Don't you dare, Justin pulls on my arm. I like the way that Justin usually knows what I'm thinking, and I usually know what he's thinking. That's a good friend. Mr. Cohen checks our passports, looks at our boarding tickets, and then Joey Fortunato leads us to our seats. Once everyone is seated, Joey shows us how to fasten our seatbelts and tells us what to do in case of an emergency. Mr. Cohen gets on his make-believe microphone and tells us to get ready for the trip of a lifetime. And off we go into the wild blue yonder. The third grade is on its way to China. So this is a really good book to go with our country reports that we were just talking about. Because it's like Cinderella around the world. Okay, so I hope you have a great start to your week. And I will see you guys later. And I hope that if you have some crazy hair days like this right here, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's been up all day though and I'm just, I'm rocking it. Why not? I hope that you just rock it because you guys are awesome. Bye. See you later.